Question number 11 says the displacement y of an oscillating particle varies with time t as y is equal to 3 sin 2 pi t plus 4 sin 4 pi t. Then the motion is first option SHM with time period 1 second. Option number 2, oscillatory and periodic with time period 1 second. Option number 3, oscillatory and periodic with time period 0 0.5 seconds. Or option number 4, SHM with a time period of 0 0.5 seconds. Dear students, we can see that this particular expression that y is equal to sin 2 pi t into 3 plus 4 sin 4 pi t. These two are individual SHMs. Let this be SHM1 and let this be SHM2. Now dear students, these two SHMs have different angular frequencies. The time period of first SHM is equal to 1 second and the time period of second SHM is equal to half seconds. Now dear students, since these two SHMs do not have the same time period, their superposition would not lead to an SHM. The final function would be periodic. And the time period would be equal to 1 second. We can easily find out this time period by a simple mental exercise. We can see that in 1 second, the first SHM completes one oscillation while the second SHM completes two oscillations and they would be again in the same phase as the initial phase and would lead to the same displacement as it was 1 second before. So therefore, after every one second, the displacement repeats itself. Therefore, for this particular question, the answer should be option number two, which says that the motion is oscillatory and periodic with time period one second. Now, let us discuss the question number 12. Question number 12 says, the position time graph of a particle is as shown in the figure. The magnitude of acceleration of particle at t is equal to 2 by 3 seconds is. Dear students, from this expression we can write down that if the position is y, then y is equal to a cos omega t, where a is the amplitude and omega is the angular frequency. For this expression, we can see that this 2 seconds is half of time period. Therefore, time period would be double of 2 seconds, that is 4 seconds. Omega would be equal to 2 pi by t that will be pi by 2 radian per second. Now dear students, y can be written to be equal to 2 cos pi by 2 t. Dear students, the acceleration a can be written as the double differentiation of y which will be equal to minus 2 into pi by 2 square cos pi by 2 t. Substituting the value of t to be equal to 2 by 3, we find out the value of acceleration to be equal to pi square by 4 centimeter per second square, which means that the correct answer for this question is option number 1. Now let us proceed to the question number 13. Question number 13 says that a particle executes simple harmonic motion about mean position with time period t. The particle starts motion from mean position. Then the variation of its potential energy u with time t is correctly shown in graph. Dear students, if displacement of the particle can be written as a sin omega t, then the potential energy is equal to half m omega square y square. Therefore, u would be equal to half m omega square a square sin square omega t. Now, dear students, in this particular case, the graph between u and t is a graph which is represented by the function sin square omega t. That is square of sinusoidal function. And the graph which correctly represents this variation is the graph as in option number 1 and this is our correct answer. Now let us discuss the question number 14. Question number 14 says a rope of mass 6 kg hangs vertically from a rigid support. A block of mass 2 kg is attached to the free end with a rope. 
a transverse wave pulse of wavelength 0.5 meter is produced at lower end of the rope. The wavelength of pulse when it reaches the top of the rope is. Dear students, in such a case, the frequency of the wave pulse remains constant and the frequency can be written as velocity by lambda. And velocity can be written as under root t by mu. Dear students, here t is the tension and mu is the linear mass density. Since the rope is uniform, mu is constant, we can write down that under root of t1 by lambda 1 would be equal to under root of t2 by lambda 2. And therefore, dear students, lambda 2 would be equal to lambda 1 into under root t2 by under root t1. Dear students, lambda 1 is given to be equal to 0 0.5 meters. The tension at the topmost point would be due to the weight of the hanging block plus the weight of the rope. This will be equal to 8g, while the tension at the bottommost point will be only due to the weight of the block that will be equal to 2g. This will be equal to 1 meter and hence the answer for this question is option number 4. Now let us discuss the question number 15. Question number 15 says, a simple pendulum with effective length L is oscillating in an elevator coming down with the retardation g by 4. The period of oscillation is. Dear students, the time period of a simple pendulum can be written as 2 pi under root of L divided by g effective, with g effective is the effective acceleration due to gravity. In this particular case, since the elevator is coming down with a retardation of g by 4, and hence it has an acceleration upwards equal to g by 4. The g effective in this case is equal to g plus g by 4 that is 5 g by 4. On substituting this value in this expression, we can write down t to be equal to 2 pi under root of L divided by 5 g by 4. This turns out to be equal to 4 pi under root of L by 5g and hence option number 3 is the correct answer. Now let us proceed to the question number 16. 